Hi everyone, Annette Kessler here with a new card for the 12 Cards of Christmas 2020 series and today we are making card number 8 which is a concertina card. It's a really cool 3D card that we're going to make. It looks amazing but it's really easy. So let's get started. We have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video so you can cut all the pieces in advance and then follow along to make the card. So I have here two pieces um, measuring 12 by 6 and we're going to start by folding the first one in half like this. Always use a bone folder to burnish all your folds and I always like to fold it in two ways so I'll decide later which way I want to show and which way I want to be the back side. So for the second piece we're going to score it at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Basically every 2 inches on the 12 inches side on the long side. So I'm going to go every two inches and score. It's really easy when you have all the pieces cut in advance. So you can just go ahead, click on the link in the description under the video and download the complete cutting guide and instructions. Now we're going to fold this in an accordion shape starting with a valley fold. So a valley fold is basically a fold that creates a V shape and then a mountain fold which is the opposite direction creating a little mountain, a little peak. So if we fold them one valley one mountain we're going to get an accordion shape, a concertina shape that you can see is going to be our card. Okay, so once we are done with that, see that's the shape and this one is going to go like this and form our card. Our next piece, again you have all the measurements in the cutting guide, we're going to score it at 2, 4, and 6. Again, every two inches at four and at six. So this is a six by eight piece. And I always use double sided cardstock to make my cards. This way, both sides of the cards look really pretty and colorful. We're going to go ahead and fold that in an accordion shape as well. This is going to be the inside of our card that is going to hold the concertina so it won't fall and will still have that 3D effect that we want. Next we are going to go ahead and bring all our cover papers. Again, you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video. So we have all these squares that can go ahead and cover the concertina if you want. Instead of squares you can make strips of paper. All depends on how you want your card to look. This is where you make your own design and decide how you want your card to look. Don't forget about that glue, it always dries out clear. I like to use liquid glue for my cards because it's easier to move the cover papers and all the elements of the card and align them into place. Well, if you use a double-sided tape, it's a little harder. So my personal favorite is liquid glue, but you can go ahead and use whatever type of glue that you want. And today all craft glues dry clear so it's really not a problem. So I'm playing with the patterns on my paper. 
and you can see that I didn't make all my cover papers with a noisy pattern so I'll have some balance on the card so I'm covering the squares on the top two sections and then on the middle one and then I'm adding some more squares on the bottom that was supposed to go on the two bottom ones see why I'm using liquid glue so if I make a mistake it's really easy to fix it so the squares go all the squares go on the two top sections and the two bottom sections and then in the two middle sections I'm going to attach larger strips that cover the entire space okay let's continue with covering that adding the last square And you can see that I'm not putting a lot of glue, just enough to make it stick. Okay, so for the middle sections, I'm adding the two larger shapes. And here is where you can add some writing, some stickers. Don't put any thick shapes or chipboard or embellishments on the inside or on the card because it needs to fold and if you put thick embellishments it will interfere with that on the outside of the card you can put whatever you want but on the inside on this part here try to use you know just stickers or handwriting or p regular paper so it won't be too thick so I'm just looking for some nice stickers to add to the center of the card like Merry Christmas for example any embellishments that, that goes with the theme of my card this sticker sheet came with with the paper collection I'm using simple stories here papers and like you saw if the sticker is too big you can always cut it a little bit and trim it to size so let's see if I can add anything else yes this looks nice And you can just play along with whatever you have in your stash whatever embellishments you have to add to the card it's a really really fun card to display later because it's 3d that little cookie there and this is how it's going to go like this it's going to look like it's like stairs going to be really cool okay so for the next part just going to add a few more snowflakes and then for the next part we're going to assemble the card and then give it its 3d look that you need stickers are really handy here okay so we're going to take the first piece that we folded in half and we're going to cover the outside because this is going to be the outside of our card so it's going basically to be six by six square because we had a 12 by six piece that we folded in half so I'm just going to cover it With the papers again you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video 
so you can pre-cut all those pieces here covering that just playing with some pieces that I have left to embellish the front of the card and here you can add whatever bulky thick embellishments that you want it won't interfere with the folding of the card so let's bring the other folded piece and we're going to attach it to the larger folded piece we're going to apply glue on the exact fold line the center fold line that little peak here just add a very thin stripe of glue and then we are going to attach it to the center fold on the larger piece on the back side like this and use your bone folder to really attach both corners together it's corner to corner just let it dry for a few minutes now you can just go ahead and fold it like this now let's attach that to the inside of the card open the card make sure that it's in the right direction and then what we're going to do is apply glue to the back side of the first folded part on the larger piece that is folded that's the top piece and then again apply glue to the back side of the top section here of the other folded piece like this and we're going to align them with the top of our card like this so because the smaller shape pulls the larger shape when we open the card we're going to get that 3d effect I'm going to show you how it looks like this you see both pieces are attached to the card we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so the bottom edge the bottom section of the larger folded piece and the bottom section of the smaller folded piece on the back side of both of those sections apply the glue and align them with the edge of the card first we align the larger folded piece and then the smaller piece is aligned with the first one so this way when you open the card you get that stairs that concertina effect it should be dry first of course to make sure that it doesn't move when you open and fold it open and close it using my bone folder to make sure it glue, glues properly so this is how it looks when it's closed and when it's dry and you open it, it looks like this isn't that cool here you can see all the squares that we created and then it can sit upright like this that's a really really fun card so I want to thank you very much for joining me I really hope that you like this card and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so this way you won't miss any of my video tutorials so Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.